Dad, wake up. Hmm? Dad, wake up. Wait, hey. I don't want to die. What, what is it? Stop that rubbish. You're not dying. What, what's the problem? I'm bleeding. You're bleeding? What, what, did you cut yourself? Where? See? Oh, baby, I'm sorry, sorry. You're not, see, you're not dying, okay? That, that's, that bleeding is normal, okay? Bleeding is normal. My whole bed is soaked. Okay, I understand. Look, um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll go to the pharmacy and get you whatever you need to take care of that, all right? But you need to do me a favor, all right? I need you to go to your room, sit on the toilet seat, all right? Go to your bathroom and sit on the toilet seat, and, and, and I'll be back. I'm going to hurry up now and go get you what you need, okay? Sorry. You're not dying, okay? It's normal. Ask your sisters, they'll tell you. All right? Hello? Mommy, hey Carol. I'm coming. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am, fine. And you? I'm doing well. How are my children? You're fine. Okay. See, mommy, Rose, I think her menstruation has just started. Hey, <laughs> look at My daughter is becoming a woman. I'm so happy. She's not taking it well, all right? She's just complaining, and, and I don't even know if she's aware of the change her body is making. She's just. Oh, poor girl. Anyway, see, mommy, I'm at the supermarket, yeah? And I'm trying to get her sanitary pads, but there are so many here. I don't even know what brand to take. I don't know what specification. Everything is just confusing. You see, that is what I've been saying. You need to be actively aware of your children. God has blessed you with beautiful daughters. It is more dynamic. Mommy, to take see, care I've, of I've them. heard. Check, but, uh, look, right now Rose needs me. She needs the sanitary pads, and I need to get them home to her as soon as possible. So help me. What I'm saying is for your own good. It's, it's quite heavy. It's everywhere. Okay, tell them to give you a pad for heavy flu. Tell who? Mommy, that's cool. I, I can't go ahead asking questions. Now I'm at the supermarket. I'm trying to get sanitary pads and not groceries. That's why I called you. Oh, so? Oh, tea ready. <laughs> Mommy, hello? Hello? Daughters, okay, just just in case you're wondering. How old is she? She's ten. Ten, and her floor is very very heavy. Right? She'll be comfortable with pads. So what are these? Pads, tampons. Well, I mean, she can use tampons, but she will have to be taught how to insert and. Uh... Well, well, so pads, it is right. Yeah, yeah, that's what she needs. Pads. Thank you. She'll, she'll actually need this much, right? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe for the next three years. I mean, I mean, our floor is quite heavy. It's, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> Trust me, it's not that bad. Well, thanks for helping me, all right? Um, 
My name is Kunle. What's yours? I'm Cassidy. Cassidy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for helping out and, and, and preventing me from an impeding embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Cassidy, do you mind if I get your number? I mean, just in case if I have other questions. I mean, you never know. But I'll really appreciate it. That's me. <laughs> That's my number. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everything. I'm taking all. All right. Rose! Rose, come on. We are all sisters. We'll listen to you. Come on, just open the door. We'll listen to you. Just let us in. Yes, please. Come on, open the door. We're bothered about you. Um, Dad, Dad. She says she refuses to open the door. And I think she's crying. Dad. Yeah, yeah, babe. Rose, I'm, I'm back, okay? I'm here. And everything is going to be fine. All right? His dad, okay? Here you are, baby. I'm sure you know what to do with it, right? Okay, good. All right. Rose, please, huh? Be a good girl, okay? Please. So, Dad, what's going on? Well, it appears your sister is now a woman. It's her period. All right? She started menstruating. I have to help her figure this out. What? Why are you invading my privacy? Shut up and let me help you. It's obvious you don't know what to do with that. Talk less of what it is. Am I right? You have started menstruating. And it means you will need to learn how to use it because you will need it every month for a very long time. Every month? You mean I'll bleed every month? Yes, just like the rest of us. You got to be kidding me. I wish I was. So... You bleed like this too. Yes, every woman does. And madam, it's not called bleeding. It's called menstruation. Go get me one of your pants. Don't worry, you'll get used to it, eventually. So you take out one, you turn your pants inside out, like this, and you take out one, open it. 
you peeled it from the back and you place it on this side. Make sure to hold it down properly to avoid getting a stain. And then you peel it again and you cover these two sides properly. Take and I promise you, you'll be fine, just like the rest of us. Thank you. Now, have your bath and wear it. It will prevent you from getting a stain. I'm sure you might have a heavy flow, so you need to change it every three or four hours. Ah! Don't worry. It only gets easier. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Ah, Papa Chua. Now, ma. How are you? I'm ma. Yes, ma. Get up, get up. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. Now, ma. Mm -hmm. So, yes, where are my children? Um, daddy. Up there. Um, daddy. Today. Mm. Up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Come on. Hello, my darlings. Yeah, how are you? 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 Good afternoon, dear. Good afternoon. I came to see you guys, especially Rose. Hey, Rose, how are you? Fine, Grandma. Okay, come, come, let's talk. Come and sit by me here. Uh, uh, you guys can excuse us. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay. Mm. My darling, how are you? Fine, Grandma. Mm. I hear you have started menstruating. Come on now, it's nothing to be shy about. It's a natural thing with women, and that's why I'm here to talk to you. Hmm? You see, um, now that you'll be seeing your monthly period, you have to be very careful, though. Ah, come on, what do you mean? This thing is beginning to sound like a sickness. Ah, no, now. Huh? Father Bale, you have to be very careful so that you don't get pregnant. What? Yes, you have to... In fact, I don't want you to talk to boys. Talk less of playing with them. Don't even allow them to touch you because it will lead to pregnancy. Grandma, what you're saying does not make sense, so it's not logical. Hey, why my wife explain to me for you? How much you give away? Okay, um, I I don't want boys to touch you anyhow. Don't allow them to touch you anyhow. Sure you don't allow them to touch. Sure you get. Why would a boy even touch me? Seem mad. <laughs> I thought I told her. What is funny? Why are you laughing? Sorry, Grandma. Sorry, Grandma. Um, well, Rose, what Grandma is trying to say is, uh, remember when we did biology? When we talked about how when a man and a woman have intercourse and the woman gets pregnant, then she gives birth to a baby. That is what Grandma is trying to say. Yes, uh, biology. Biology. You mean sex? Ha! Lodwe. Yes, you can't have sex. Neither I, you or Tehila, are fully biologically, mentally, psychologically, or even financially ready to become a parent. Talk less of taking up the responsibility. Yes, you, you, you know child pregnancy is a shameful thing, right? Yes, Grandma. Yes, and that's why I've come to warn you, and you too. But now I see that you guys even know more than me. I trust you guys will not do anything that will bring your daddy and myself shame, right? Yes, yes Grandma. Good, that's my girls. <laughs> good, 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 good. And uh, what's um this? What's her name? Um, a killer thing for you, Perpetua. 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 Hello. Hello, What do you guys have in the house? Come on, let's go. Mama, what's in? Ah ah, oh she fell Perpetua, what is in there? Emma one, Emma one, Emma one. Amala. Mm, at a four. Okay. Mm, thank you. Uh -huh. 
Rose. 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 Hello. Why didn't you come out to meet us as usual? We're not even friends, so leave me alone. Why are you angry? Are we the ones doing this? Leave me alone. Do you think you can beat me? Leave me alone. You guys should leave me alone. Why did you hit my bag? I, what is wrong with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to report for both of you. Zip it. <laughs> Do not shed a tear for any of these ignorant boys because they don't know better. But I'll teach them. Now, if any girl, including your mothers, did not bleed the way Rose is doing now, none of you would have been born. So, the gentleman thing to do when next you see a girl stained like this is to help her and not shame her. How can I help her? Good question. I like that. Now, come. Let me tell you. Take off your shirt. Pull off your shirt. If I hear any more sound, I will play you a video of a woman giving birth and I can assure you, none of you will recover from it. Now Dave, you will see her off to the door of the restroom and you will make sure she feels safe throughout the walk. And if any of you made just of Dave, you will not like the punishment. Dave is being a hero right now, and you all should learn from him. Now go. Pretty on you. No, I make it look pretty. You're right. I'm sorry I told you to bring the uniform. I stained my skirt. Oh, you're menstruating! Yay! What about celebration? What celebration? I ate chicken for the first time when I started. It's worth the celebration, but that can't be your first time eating chicken, right? I get that. of the school again really feels so special. Don't worry. Just keep reading the books I gave you. So what have your progress been on the program you've been reading? I exhaust my mom data a lot and she's complaining. I don't think and I'm not sure I'll continue with this. Don't worry. Don't give up. We'll think of something. I don't know what for myself. Me too. Rose, you won't go? I'm not going to school tomorrow. Eh? I said I'm not going to school tomorrow. I'm, not I'm sure Auntie Perpetua heard you the first time. 
Why are you not going to school tomorrow? Is it what I think? Who's not going to school tomorrow? Rose. Thirsty much. And why are you not going to school tomorrow? Because hmm? I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Tell them on my period. Don't we all know that? Is that why you're not going to school tomorrow? Tahila, mind your business. Mm -mm. Really? Rose, don't speak to your elder sister like that. It's rude. I'm sorry. Tahila, let me handle this, okay? All right, young lady. Um, I understand that you're on your period and you might feel quite uncomfortable. But um, that's no excuse for you not to go to school. I mean, besides, your menstrual cycle is part of every female's life. But Dad, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Okay, but you're going to have to propose a superior argument. Because using your period is definitely not going to fly. Mm, cry, baby. Stop crying. Why are you crying? I don't want them to laugh at me in class again. Well, who's going to laugh at you? My classmates. But why would they do that? Because blood keeps staining my uniform and they keep making jests of me. How, how did that happen? Some boys came to disturb me today and I told them to leave me alone but they won't listen. So I went to go and report to the teacher. But then I noticed the blood stained my uniform and they all started laughing at me. You know, my lap, my lap, my lap. I want to now. Why don't you laugh at you? You think that I don't want to beat them? They won't know. They won't know. They won't beat me now. But then that. Miss Bola saw them. And she started giving them a lecture on how to respect girls. But I don't think that is going to stop them from laughing at me tomorrow. Well, I'm sorry about that, baby. And that's surely not right. However, your teacher has spoken up for you. All right? So the rest is left to you. How? Oh. Well, you're just going to have to change your sanitary pattern as soon as possible. Whether you get stained or not. And if there's a teacher in class, wherever he or she is, walk boldly to her or him and tell them you need to change your sanitary towel. And they laugh at you, let them laugh. You're standing up for yourself and the next girl. Nice one, Dad. I'll start to do that from next month. Yeah, me too. Um, baby sister, I'm sorry, I didn't know that happened. And thanks, Dad, for helping with build up her self-confidence. Sis, don't let anyone tell you how to live your life. Live your life without being apologetic. Word. Preach, sister. Wait, Bimbo, Bimbo, I didn't ask you to go and start a riot. Um, come on, Dad, you know what I mean. Okay. Well, I do. Rose, like I said, don't let anyone dictate how you live your life. Don't let anyone be the factor to why you should be happy or not. And most especially, ignore any comment that is negative or derogatory. You're the boss of your own life, okay? Okay. So you're going to go to school tomorrow, all padded up and ignoring every side talk, okay? Thank you. It's okay. You're going to be fine. And remember, we all love you. Yes. Love you too. You guys are the best sisters. Sister hug. Who taught me? Very young, I taught me. Me became no doing. Ah, you dead do. Ah. Um, didn't you have anything to do? Ah, I'm not being nothing. Nothing like me. I'm going to be back now. I'm going to go out. I'm not being nothing. Hahaha. Hahaha.